What's going on Algebros? It's Mr. C here and in this video we're going to evaluate three algebraic expressions using uh, particular values of x and y that are provided for us in the instructions. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, the example here says to evaluate each expression if x is equal to 3 and y is equal to negative 5. So basically what that means is anywhere you see x you'll change it to 3 and any C, or anywhere you see y you'll change it to negative 5. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with example part A. We have 2xy plus y squared. So this is now going to be equal to 2 times 3 times negative 5 plus negative 5 quantity squared. What you'll do from here on out is just follow your order of operations. First thing you want to do is square the negative 5. Just kind of keeping in mind PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Or as I like to say, please end my day at Schoolcraft. Um, there's no operations going on inside parentheses, so you would move on to uh, evaluating any exponents. Hence why we're doing negative 5 squared first. So I'll keep this as 2 times 3 times negative 5. Negative 5 squared is 25. And now we'll go ahead and multiply uh, 2 times 3 together. So that's going to be 6 times negative 5 plus 25 and we'll do this second multiplication 6 times negative 5 gives us negative 30 plus 25 we'll go ahead and add these two together now to get negative 5 all right so that's our solution to part a let's move on to part b here we have the absolute value of an expression, and that expression is x plus 1 half y. Alright, so this is going to be equal to the absolute value, uh, although not necessary. I'll use parentheses around the 3 when I change uh, x to 3, plus 1 half. A little more necessary here, I'll put the negative 5 in parentheses, and then of course the rest of the absolute value symbols. Uh, just a heads up, you can uh, treat the absolute value symbols as their own set of parentheses, uh, meaning that we'll have to clean everything up that's inside the absolute values uh, symbols before we um, apply the absolute value uh, symbols. Uh, so with that said, we'll go ahead and multiply 1 half to negative 5. Something that might make this a little easier is to write the negative 5 as being over 1, uh, because this now looks like multiplication of two fractions, in which case you multiply tops and bottoms together. So we're looking at the absolute value of 3, you don't need the parentheses there, um, plus negative 5 over 2. If you treat the 3 as being on top of 1, uh, what we now have inside the absolute value symbols is the addition of two fractions. So we're going to need a common denominator, or as Arnold would say, a common denominator. Um, what that means is we're going to rewrite the 3 over 1 as 6 over 2, because that's our common denominator between the two fractions. So 6 over 2 plus negative 5 over 2. And now that we have <coughs> the common denominator, we'll go ahead and combine the tops of these fractions via addition. So 6 plus negative 5 all over one copy of the common denominator of 2. 6 plus negative 5 is 1, so we're looking at the absolute value of 1 half, which is 1 half. And so our final answer for example part B is 1 half. Last but not least is example part C. We have 5x plus y all over 3 plus y. Let's go ahead and replace y with I'm sorry, x. With 3, so 5 times 3 plus y, which is negative 5. That's all over 3 plus another copy of negative 5. For something like this, you want to simplify top and bottom individually or on their own. Um, so, for instance, uh, you know, let's maybe focus on the top here. I would suggest multiplying the 5 times 3 together to get things going. So we're looking at 15 plus negative 5. And if you want to go ahead and knock out the simplification of the denominator at the same time, 
I suppose that's fine. I do allow it. We're looking at 3 plus negative 5, which is negative 2. Now what you can do is combine the top right there, 15 plus negative 5, which is positive 10, all over negative 2. And when we divide 10 by negative 2, we get negative 5. And so our final answer to part C is negative 5.